Hi guys, how are you going? It's Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel and of course Autodidactic means to be self-educated and that's what you want to be because you do not want to be learning what they are trying to teach. Uh, today's video is called um, Mud Flood in Bruges, which is um, Bruges, I think that's how you say it, it's B-R-U-G-E-S, it's a town in Belgium and this is just a a clip it's actually got canals through it um, some people call it the Venice of the North as you'll see later um, so this is one of the canals and you can see this architecture this um, sort of um, like stepped effect is on a lot of the buildings I'm not sure why and they're all very very steep roofed as well and I think that's because you know snows around here but very old buildings it's all uh, we're told it's all um, attributed to the medieval time you know because they obviously had the machinery and the skill to do that right um, so yeah basically Bruges <coughs> is in Belgium um, you know, it's got the coat of arms it's got the line on it now but basically it's saying um, it was an important title in inlet sorry for local commerce this inlet was then known as the golden inlet uh, blah 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 in 1089 Bruges became the capital of the country and since about 1050 gradually um, silting has caused the city to lose its direct access to the sea a storm in 1134 however re-established the access through a creation of a natural channel at the Zwin blah 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 and then they say that um, after that they started building their own their own channels. Now I'll just show you what this place looks like. This is Google Earth. Now this is uh, that area is you know the Bruges sort of county or whatever the area. This is actually the um, the main city of Bruges and as you can see look at this canal. Obviously man-made because look how you know symmetrical it is. Okay and this thing it's pretty big. Whoops. What are you doing, Google Earth? Okay, and it goes all the way out here. This canal is still going. Still going. <laughs> then we have this massive, again, obviously man made. And this is like an, an inland port. Now it's not even on the sea, any, I don't know if it used to be, but it's obviously very man made, very large. You know, if we go down here, those are the buildings. Um, you know, that's a massive ship that's in there, so you can obviously see that's a big piece of water. Uh, there's another massive cutout, um, and, and it just continues up to there, up to the, the actual port, which again, look at that thing. Okay, it's pretty, pretty spun out. Um, just another thing that did, did sort of get my attention was just... I don't know, just some of these shapes, you know, could this be an old star fort? Maybe there's a bit missing there, you know, it's just sort of got some of those angles on it. Um, and when I went in before and had a look and you'll see all the lands kind of divided angularly. So there's, this, there's these roads and they're, that's not what I was looking at, but yeah, they sort of all seem to go off on these funny angles. Very strange, but anyway. That's Bruges. Okay, so let's have a look at Bruges. So there we have <clears throat> um, our first picture. Why is this not moving forward? Hang on a sec. Okay, so Bruges. Now, first of all, I just wanted to point out to this bridge. Not sure. It just looks. Looks a bit low, you know, and it doesn't look like you'd get many boats under that. Okay, now this is the um, some of the architecture. Look at that tower, isn't that amazing? Obviously built in medieval times, they're telling us, you know, all this stuff. Classic, classic, you know, the sort of architecture we see everywhere. Um, and this this town is just, it's it's a full, full town. Like, there are all these buildings. They don't seem to have knocked down any of them. It's pretty cool. So that's just a bit of a street view for you. Now this I put in because this is a bridge, but I'm not sure what this big stone pillar is doing underneath a bridge. Okay, so 
this is called, you know, th this uh, video is called Bruges and Mud Flood. So here's a shot here. You can see this is the canal. Okay, now, so I wanted to point out a few things. So this is a van. This is a, a dude, a little man there. And look at the size of that door. Huge. Then look at this building here. Okay, see these windows and this door. Same, same height, same width. But it looks like they've capped this off and built stairs up and turned this window into a door. And they've done something like put another small level underneath here or something. Um, done the same thing here, stairs up. See, window, window, same, same everything. But it's now a door with stairs going up to it. Um, and this one seems to have been just sort of left at the same proportions, but. But yeah, so we've got some mud flutters there. These are obviously half under the ground. And obviously, you know, look at the size of the doors. You know, were these, again, were these made for bigger people than us? And I'm not sure what that is, but if we go and have a look. I mean, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a seat or is that like a another window down there? Not really sure. All right, let's check out, uh, get rid of that. <clears throat> okay, this bridge. Now this bridge, um, if you look at it, it, it's actually not finished. Like you've got the two arches, or well, an arch on each side, and they've just come along and built like a wooden bridge on the top of it. So what was this? And, you know, originally was... Was it maybe too low? Did they take the brick out because they couldn't get boats under it? Because look how low these are. Or was this some other structure that you know has its foundations down in the water here? Um, which is really what I'm going to sort of start showing you is oh, this is just some architecture on a building. You know, just you know, medieval people in the 1600s, the citizens. You know, they they, they just happened to whip this one up. Pretty nice work. Okay, so here we go. So this is the canal, and this is what I want to get at is this canal is obviously a lot higher now than it used to be. Um, you know, the, the levels have, have risen up, and you can tell because look at this arch. You know, what's that doing there? And I mean, how do they, where are the foundations? How would they even build these buildings? They're like literally just going down into the canal. It's, it's really strange. But you know, a little window down here, but the arch is here. Behind this boat, you can see there's some windows in there as well, you know, right down on the water level. So it's all a bit strange. This one, we've got some swans, and this one, um, I wanted to sort of show you this doorway. And this is one of the few buildings that has got a bit of dirt outside it. Um, but if you look at these windows, okay, these two here, they're the same, and this follows suit exactly, but some point someone has turned it into a doorway okay this is a canal again and as you can see everything's just literally built on the water um, so here we've got a door just coming out at water level which isn't if, if that was for a dock or a boat this would be higher so you can step into the boat on this side we've got windows, you know, and they look like they've been filled up, like, just because obviously the rest would have been under the water level. Um, the door's straight to the water. You know, same here, just got a little window, a random window down there. Um, just looks like, yeah, the, that water level has definitely, I would say, has risen since it was built. Here's another shot of that with, you know, the arches, and there you can see a second arch just here under these buildings so what are they doing there why would they be built in you know and look at the architecture I mean it's just it's just incredible it's a nice shot again uh, this architecture you know it's, it's just everywhere it's so cool but down here again we have windows there and then in the corner here, they've got this little archway. It looks like an old doorway or something that just goes straight into the water. You know, we've got another doorway here that comes straight out of the water. These they've been turned into 
windows, or they are windows, but you know, everything's just straight. Look at these, straight on the water level. You, you know, you wouldn't build that that way. That doesn't make sense. Um, okay, let's get this one a bit bigger. But same kind of thing, doorway just coming straight up to the water level. You know, strange placement of windows. You know, if they could build buildings like this, why would they be doing strange things like that? Um, I think we may have seen one similar to this before. I'm not sure what this is. I've been looking at it, but it could be art space, but not really sure. Um, okay, so I've got a few more of the canal shots for you. That's that same one. Look at the architecture, though. It's just, you know, and they're telling us that medieval people built these into the water and they dug all the canals. It's just a bit silly. But this one, again, another arch underneath the house right there. And, and it even looks like there, it looks like it's had, a, I don't know, a doorway or something, maybe. And again, another you know, door, external door, that, but it's at water level, and you can see, to get into that boat, the tiny boat, you'd have to be stepping up. You know, doesn't make sense. Again, doors just coming out of water level. Um, now, what I also wanted to have a look at was this place down the end. They've got a pub or something there, but, I mean, clearly, look, look at this. This looks like a second story. And it's just sitting on the water level there. I mean, what is that? It's just, it's just very, very, you know, I'd say this, this whole place was mud flooded and maybe that made the water rise. Maybe there's a, you know, ton of silt and mud at the bottom of that, which made the, that rise or everything rose. I'm not sure, but, but um, these, these buildings weren't built when this water was at this level. Um, again, look at this bridge, it's very low, not really useful, you know, because they're also talking that all this stuff was built for trade so they could get out to the North Sea and they could bring stuff in. So what kind of boats or ships are you going to get under that? You know, nothing. But what I wanted to look at was this. See, here we've got this. It's probably a bit too far in. And that's just the wall, but it looks like it's going down, like these are pillars that are going down onto a bigger construction below. I'm not sure, I might be wrong. But they've obviously, you know, sort of had to fill this in and raise it. And you can see there's, you know, different slopes and that. These look like windows down here. So, this is... Bruges that we're looking at guys, B-R-U-G-E-S in Belgium, and here's some oh, more of the awesome architecture. It's just amazing, and let's have a look. Getting a bit closer, we see here windows, and some mud floods. Windows below the ground level, here's some more going into the ground. Um, down here, there's one here, and it looks like um, they may have dug that out, but also here door, doorways with stairs going up to the second level. Um, again, look at the windows. See that one looks slightly wider, but so does that. So it looks like that was a window and they've turned it into a door. Exactly the same thing here. Look at these windows. That was obviously a window, but they've extended it down, built up. Um, they've done it here as well. <laughs> okay, it's just like that's how they do it, guys. Um, you know, it's because there's a floor underneath here, under the ground. And you can kind of see the slope there going down. You know, this door, it's not even flat at the bottom there. It's on an, it's, you know, the bottom of the door has to be angled up. Uh, so this is definitely a, a place that's been hit by a mud flood. Again here, you know, these windows, look at the size of these windows. So you can imagine that there, you know, the floor's down here somewhere. Um, stairs going up, and again, they've probably just converted one of these windows down into a door. Um, so it's the same, you know, there's another one up there. Oops, another window under. 
the level and you can see the angles there so it's definitely you know this has been hit by a mud flood guys um, let's see what else we got here okay this is some internal shots just just some internal of the buildings this is the city uh, city hall or town hall um, and I mean look at this thing look at it's just you know it's classic of the architecture that we see everywhere um, the artwork is just amazing stuff Look at the size of that fireplace. I'm not sure if that's a person sitting there. But as you can see, everything's very, very, very large and very ornate. Okay, these are some more of the, the you know classic architecture with this stepped brickwork. And look right there, that's a window under the ground. Um, you know they've done something here to get I don't know, access to something, but and you know both these have got steps going up, not huge ones, but they are. But that's that's definitely a window that's under the ground. Um, this is just to show you some more of the architecture. I mean, it's just how cool is that? So I'm not sure what all this stepping stuff is. If that may, mark is marking these as a certain kind of building, or you know, certain kind of factory or what its use was or something I'm not really sure as you can see they've all got these spires on the tops you know and you see this you see this um, pattern as well in the you know inside the king's chamber of the great pyramid you see it in a lot of ancient uh, architecture and doorways and things um, so yeah I'm not sure exactly what that means but it, it seems to be sort of focusing up to where these antennas are <coughs> excuse me Another internal view. I mean, this is just so cool. Look at all the work. But again, look at the size of these doorways. You know, I mean, they're huge. <laughs> I, I don't know what this is. Someone's built a little pulpit so they can go up and preach to people. Okay, this is a shot from the, or not a shot, but a painting from the 1600s. And I just found it interesting that. They say it's the 1600s, um, could be later, but you know, we've got steps going up here and all the streets are covered in mud. All dirt streets. You know, there's not that many people there, there's no horse and carts. Um, but there's all these amazing buildings that are there and complete. Another one, um, I found this interesting too. Again, you know, everything's completed. This one, I think they said was around 1820s. Um, but it looks like, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Are they, are they filling that in after a flood so they can walk somewhere? Or are they emptying it? Is it the remnants of the, the mud that's come off into the into the canal? Because um, you can see that looks like a boat that's been covered or something with mud. Not sure. Interesting uh, painting, though. And here's another one. This is... Um, around the sort of 17, 1800s of painting. As you can see, everything's amazing, all finished. I mean, but again, for all these buildings, you can see them going off into the back background, you know, spires and antenna everywhere. Um, but there's not that many people. And what's this? I mean, I'm not sure what that is. That's angels. Carrying the flag, okay, so it must be a sickness. I don't know, maybe that's something they used to do in their old artworks. But, but yeah, you can see that it's all well, this is the next photo, they've done it again up there. Whoops. And again, you can see all the buildings completed, all looking nice, you know, pristine, but mud all over the floor. I mean, even this building here, I don't know. Looks like it's been a bit covered up, doesn't it? When you look at the size of that floor there, to the size of that floor, that's about half the size. Okay, now this place is called, I have forgotten what it's called, it's the museum. I think it's um, Fleming or Memming Museum. Um, but it used to be, I don't, it used to be a hospital and a few other things. Now it's a museum. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing built straight into the water. 
arch here. There's arches here that have been filled in and like it's just bizarre. It's just a bizarre looking building, isn't it? Like these, these are just built straight out and look at these. You know, you can see these sort of columny upright things coming out of the water to support it. Um, whoops. Okay, that's a very big picture, but this is inside that uh, inside that museum. Just to show you how sort of big it is, a bit of work. Are these beams. Now, everything's always arched, isn't it? Here's a better picture now. What I like about this one, apart from again, because this is inside, because it's now a museum. Now, obviously, the massive, massive doorways that have been filled in windows. But look at this. What's that? Built like this little wooden staircase up to an external door. So is this a sunken bit? I'm, I did look to see what, if um, what was under the ground level, but I couldn't get much information on it. But again, let's check the floor. Um, this is just another picture of the outside. Just again, the arches. Look at this big arch here that hasn't been bricked in. No, they've turned this window into a door so they can get out. I'm not even sure what's going on here. Uh, now, this is a medieval uh, picture of inside that building when it was a hospital. And of course, you can see that these people obviously built it because it's obviously the right size for them. <laughs> look at these middle bits, these, they look like they should be benches or desks or something and these, it's, it's taller than their head height. Um, and you know these massive, you know this is, look at the sun, and they're going to build this for a hospital, like that's like five times as tall as that, as that lady or more. And they're building this for a hospital in medieval times, you know, when the population wasn't that big. Um, where, you know, where did they get the skills and the manpower for that? Just another shot, you know, this is a common sort of thing that you see. Now what's going on there? Why would you build that? Now it's not big enough to get a boat under or anything. And this is like another door. This one that looks like they may have converted. I don't know if it's a door or not to get a boat in, but I mean, come on. The levels of the water and the land have risen here. This one, you can see there's arches here as well. So it's all over it, and it's all been bricked in this whole side. And another shot like there's just arches everywhere. Look at them, and they, these look, you know, coming up, you know, they look like part of the, the structure. You see that a lot when, when you can actually see the levels below, these big sort of wide, I don't know, what, what do you call them, sort of support pillar things that sort of come up to the churches of like cathedrals, whatever they are, and again, it's got the stepped architecture there. That's very cool stuff. This is inside. I'm not, see, this looks like it should be, on, you know, it might be a lower level, I'm not sure. But again, you know, this is very classic, all this stuff on the pillars. And this is an external view. Um, so you can see the level of the uh, ground has changed, and look at this door. Man, it just it looks like it should be taller, doesn't it? Doesn't look right. Looks like they've put this thing on afterwards just to sort of go up with the level to make it look a bit normal, but that doesn't look normal. <laughs> um, this is the, the grand square, so it's obviously one of these, you know, complete sort of pre-reset um, cities. You know, see this a lot, massive square statues, big statues and stuff in the middle of them. They're often fountains. This and you know, just look at the size of the city and these spires, they're just everywhere. And this you know this was they're telling us the whole thing was built in medieval times and there's so many buildings here. I mean look at that thing. I mean that's just amazing. And again, it's not the best picture, but you can see under here, now there's, they put the um, stairs up to the doorway. This doorway looks exactly like this window above it and the one above it, 
but it's now a door. Um, this is obviously on higher ground than down here, and these looks like arches and windows under the ground level. So, a bit of mud flooding there. Uh, let's get that off. Okay. This one again, easy spot. <laughs> one, two, three windows under the ground. No doubt there's more back there. So that's classic. Again, look at the architecture, look at all the work on the outside of this building. Uh, just just, just for fun, because I had nothing else to do, like, you know, grow food, and try and survive. <laughs> and we're just doing this. Uh, there's a street view. I mean, and as you can see, these buildings are just everywhere. Now, I'm not sure if these used to be arched and they were cut off at some point. Um, another shot here stands right out. So you can see they're under ground level one, two, and then down here as well, one, two, three. And if we just go zoom in a bit more, you'll see they pretty much go you know, all along. Not the best resolution, but yeah, I mean, definitely look at that. Mud flutter. So this is uh, Burgess in Belgium. Mud flooding here again. Like, you know, <laughs> look at that. We know where half the windows under the ground. Like you can see that is like about that bit. So there's more than, you know, it's probably about a third of it poking up. Um, and here again on this building next to it, you can see the same kind of thing. And this looks like this is the level and they've even dug that out to expose the top of those. Not sure why. Looks like maybe they dug outside the doorways, the original one. Again, spires on the top of these towers everywhere and I mean it's just amazing for that architecture it's just ridiculous but again spires and antennas everywhere uh, <laughs> another easy spot this is all in the same town look at all these windows under the ground and again with this look at the size of these windows so how, you know how far under does that actually go And across here as well. And you know, just look at the size of these doors. You know, why would you do that if, 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 you know, if you didn't have to? Why would why are they building things three, four times the size that they need them for? Um, you know, when it when it's a hard job, you know, it's like it's like why would you do things that are really, really hard when, when they could do them much more simply and still meet all their needs. So that's why this just doesn't make sense. Um, this is I don't think we've seen this before, but there are a few windows under the ground there. This is the town square. I mean, amazing, amazing architecture. Okay, here's some more bridges that just look too low. Look, that's a boat. Right, so if you sort of go along here, it's going to be sort of like this kind of height. So you imagine a few people in there, they're going to be ducking just in this. So how, how's it practical for anything? It's just not. So the water level has risen here. So there, there, there may have been a canal there, you know, because we've got the bridges and that, but it was a lot lower. Another random door just coming out onto the canal. Looks like these windows have been bricked up. This bridge, you know, it's a bit higher than the other ones, but it's still pretty low. And see how it just doesn't seem to be symmetrical. Like, I don't know if it, it might just be the angle. It looks like it sort of comes right into the land, but out here it sort of steps out. That kind of looks like it's just sort of landed in there. I don't know. It could be me. What do you think? Okay. Um, how... Well, Getting a bit of time up on this video now. Okay, here's some fireplaces. This is all, again, from the same place. Um, I think this one is from Town Hall. That's the fireplace there. Obviously built to burn wood, right? Um, this one does have a metal plate on the back by the look of it. And although there's not two you know, sort of metal objects, these, these pillars here look like they could be metallic, you know, made from some kind of metal. And obviously all this work, you know, you do that to make a fireplace where there's no place for the fire. It just spills out on the floor, destroys all the nice work you've done. Here's another one. 
you know, the same kind of stuff, all this work around and look at the size that, you know, at that fireplace, that's more than twice as high as they are. And this is another one. So I think these were, I think they're from the City Hall um, the Museum and some other hall that, that certain people have, have taken for their own. But, you know, just look at all the work up here and look at the size of that fireplace. All right. Um, what's going on here? Okay, that looks like that's the end of it. Okay, I thought I had a few more videos, a few more pics. So there we go. That is uh, Bruges in Belgium. Um, so definite, you know, mud flooded. It's been there for a long time. Um, they say it was built around the 1100s and all these canals were, were sort of man-made back in the 1600s. Um, but like I said, it just doesn't make sense. When you see the scale of the, the canals, you know, and then we read, you know, this is all they've got to say on the, on it. That's it. That's the wiki page. It says the main canal is uh, 24.6 kilometers, connects to the North Sea. Construction started in 1618 and was finished in 1623. So it took five years to build that. No, no machinery. You know, they're obviously digging it with um, shovels. And, you know, it just doesn't make sense at all all right so that's it guys um yeah quick video or not a quick video half an hour but yeah the mud flood in bruges now i'm also going to link um another video in the description which is like a uh a, i think it's done with the drone but they sort of show you the city now they fly around and show you all the architecture if you want to have a look at that and uh please leave me a like a comment subscribe if you like this kind of content and as always, guys, stay autodidactic because self-education is the way forward. All right, have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon. Bye now.